Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. So I have a theory on what's going on right now and I'm going, and it's not too far fetched in my opinion. So I'm gonna do a video on it tonight. So I just wanted to let everybody know, but it's going to revolve around how the prices can simultaneously start dropping with certain altcoins, almost like they're going down at the same, at the same rate while maybe the tokens in circulation doesn't change. Maybe they're not selling, right? Maybe the liquidity pools are just dropping. Right? For AMP's case, maybe the, the spending capacity on the network is dropping, which it is right now. Right? And it was you know, up significantly yesterday, and now it's going down. So the question that I want to ask and, and the thing that I want to explore is what are the limitations that are set with larger investors staking their tokens? And once they stake, the time frame on when they can, you know, how long they have to have them in there, when they can pull them out, so on and so forth. Because in all reality, if some of these larger investors had heavy, really big positions in altcoins, and they had really big positions in the, in the staking pool. So for example, if it's, if it's a billion, if it's a billion dollars in spending capacity, and several different whales own, let's say 30, 40% of that whole billion dollar st uh, spending capacity, and they have a set time where they pull things out of it, you know, it, it's, I'm just saying that it's not always people are just selling off. I think what happens is when the, when the spending capacity goes down, the price starts to go down, then normal people like me and you sell. But it's not always going to be the case where it's an automatic dead give. Okay, yep, yep, people are selling, and that's why. You know, why in the world would AMP token's price be going down right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, seriously. I mean, it's the amount of volume that's been going through there in the past couple of days is insane, but the spending capacity on the network is going down. And all I'm trying to say is that could solely happen by larger investors pulling their funds out of staking. They don't necessarily have to sell. They don't have to sell at all. They can just pull them out of staking and it will cause the price to drop, right? So I'm gonna do a video on this tonight. I'm gonna explore this more in depth, but I just wanted to get this out there. Um, I'm holding, you know, I'm as, I'm as bullish as I've ever been. I grow more bullish by the day, the more that I learn, right? But there's better understanding the back-end process for how certain things can be moved around and make it appear like something's happening when it's really not. Now, in all reality, that they might be a huge sell-off of everybody might just be selling their amp right now, you know, for no particular reason. Um, but I, I'm telling you, I, I think that... I think that there's something to this and I want to explore it more. So I'm going to do a video tonight. If it rolls into tomorrow, just check back tomorrow. But, uh, you know, like, share and subscribe and, you know, greatly appreciate everybody who has so far. And if I've made any mistakes on this or if I'm wrong on what I'm saying, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. And, you know, I'll be happy to correct it. I'm learning as I go. So as I learn new things about, you know, what I'm invested in and the market as a whole, I try to put those videos out just to, to help, you know, somebody else doesn't make the same mistakes that I made or doesn't have the same misconceptions that I had when I originally started, which was, you know, all coins start dropping, people are selling them. And that's why it started to drop, right? And in my opinion, that doesn't really have to be the case in a number of different altcoins. So that's all I got for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.